guys. Hey. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll show you around. I'm kind of excited. I put a blast out to see in this studio. Take one. For a career, it's a plethora of things I want to do, but just to start me off, I want to partake in photojournalism, build a name for myself. Xavier is a typical 16 year old. He loves to skateboard, basketball, football. This is my room right here. He loves to draw. This John Jewel in class, it represents duality. He loves to taking pictures, doing videos. Hey, y'all want a smoothie? Yeah. I know it. This ad came on TV and it's like big brothers, big sisters. Your kids need to be mentored. If you want your child to be learning about multicultural things, this is the place that you should send your children. I signed all my children up. Met Xavier in May of 2018. My first thoughts were, what am I gonna do with a 12 year old? What are we gonna talk about or do? Well, we both like Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> that was the thing that clicked with them. They've been ride or die ever since. <laughs> it so is. Our first day together, I, if I can find it, in the Houston Public Library. Once I found out he enjoyed reading, we, we stopped there. That was our regular monthly stop. Xavier and I sit down and we work out our own calendar. We have put together our own activity booklet and pick out things that he'd like to do, things that are both educational and fun. I really enjoy going to explore and venture out to see different careers. It's okay not to know. I didn't know when I went to college. We're just trying to open up as many doors as we can. So some of those other activities like home tours, I want him to go in a $2 million house. I want him to see the potential of what's out there. The college tours, the voting. So when he becomes 18, voting it will be ingrained. Sometimes it's just being quiet and listening. Xavier was, he was lost. He didn't know if he was coming or going. And Mr. Weldon has shown him things that I wasn't able to show him. Well, sometimes they rebel and they're not even sure why. Just having another pair of ears there, I think it, it's very helpful. When I was 12, it was a whole different story. I felt like my life wasn't gonna go anywhere. Big Brother Big Sisters just helped shed light on you're more than your circumstances. You're more than your mental health. You can overcome all of this. During the pandemic, it was already a lot of rocky stuff going on. I went to my grandmother's house doing a foster care. We really had to really work at staying involved with each other, connected with each other, my being a part of his life. The whole world stopped, but Mr. Weldon didn't. He just kept on going. My wife sees them as a part of our family. His picture's on our refrigerator, okay? Push right here, and then I think we're so dominant. Foot. All right, so like, so let's put in there. All right, okay, two tries, that's enough. Huh? He always said that I'm gonna be here till the end. I'm like, what's the end? He said, until I see that he's successful in high school, college, his career, I'm not going anywhere. My dream for him, I tell him often is that I would attend his high school graduation and that I would stand beside him at a two-year or four-year degree and that he would one day knock on my door in a big brother shirt with a little standing beside him. If I see that, then I know our time together would have been a success. 